day everyone Jeremy from survival showcase I want to talk to you about a neat product that I've been using lately it's called odor eliminator uh, what it's for is it's for footwear that gets kind of uh, smelling kind of funky after a while uh, I don't know about you guys but my feet after using footwear for a while like sandals and stuff like that if it's the wrong kind of material my feet sweat and then they just they get smelling pretty bad so we're going to take a look at this and you'll you'll need a scrub brush that you can see up there you'll need a wash basin of some sort that you can uh, work in as well as a five gallon pail I've got one here that I, I can put a lid on and it works really well and of course the footwear that you're using today is the Merrill select grip sandals uh, they're a brown leather with a uh, kind of a material velvety inner layer where the foot goes, like the sole. This here actually feels really nice once they're cleaned up and uh, good to go again. You can see there's a lot of black and dirt and stuff in there. I, I just recently went on vacation and I used these sandals and now I'm back so I'm going to give them a clean up and hopefully they'll be good for the rest of the summer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're either going to want to fill up your basin or you can stick your five gallon pail in there if you can. And we're going to add some warm water to it. You don't want it hot, you just want it nice and warm. So once you've got enough water in there that you can submerge your sandal, you can turn that all off. Once you've got uh, enough water in there, the other item that I forgot to mention was is you're going to need uh, some dish soap. And the reason I'm using dish soap is because it is antibacterial. It cuts grease on pans, so it, it'll, it'll cut the oil away from the sandal as well and keep it away when you're, when you're washing them. So we're just going to add a little bit of that in there. You don't need a whole lot. I'm just going to put the water going so it stirs up some bubbles. Get a nice foam on top. And maybe also just stick my hand in there and kind of make sure it's all mixed up. I'm going to move this bucket right over here to the edge in here because I can actually still, with this, the size of this sink, I can still use the, the faucet for clear water for rinsing the sandal off, get the soap off of it. So now basically all we're going to do is we're going to put that sandal in there. I submerge the whole thing. Put the other sandal in there. Submerge it as well. Some people are worried about the leather. It is going to change the color of your leather. Um, I wasn't really too worried about that because I'll just put like a... Uh, I, I have put leather protectant on these. And also I will be rubbing in some uh, leather conditioner as well once I'm all done. So I've got a bristled brush here. You're just going to take that and you're going to scrub your sandal. If you're really worried about your leather, what you could do is you could dip the brush in the water and just scrub in here. But with these ones here, I've been able to put the conditioner back on them. They get soft and they're, they're pretty nice again. And the conditioner that I have will actually darken these up again too. I'm just going to scrub all over. The reason why I like these Merrells is they feel so good on my foot. You actually have a ridge here that goes right under your toes and then your toes hang over the front here. Big toe there and then the other toes here and they do feel awesome. Uh, I'm a size 9 and that's basically what my, my shoe size is in uh, the Danner boots too. So I went with that and these. I tried a 10 on. They were definitely too big. These ones just fit perfect for my foot. Just scrub in under here. Um, I don't really scrub the the inside up in here you can if you want I find that part doesn't really get that dirty it's just basically where my foot lies in the, the bed of the sole that's where it gets dirty scrub away you can go pretty aggressive on these too it doesn't uh, just want to make sure all that crud's out of there So once you've got that part 
done, I, what I do is I throw in the cool water. And just rinse the sandals off. So after that's done, you can go ahead and dump out your pail of water and soap. As you can see, definitely cut out some dirt. You can see the water is discolored in there. Where I was, it was really sandy too. So I can see there's, there's some sediment there in, in the bottom of the pail, if you can see it in there. So that's gotten all that out of there. The recent family holiday to North Bay Ontario is where we went. It was great. So once you're done with that bucket, you're going to want to wash it, make sure it's cleaned right out. Take your hand. Set it. Let get it out as best you can. And then we're going to want to fill it up with clear water. So on the back of this little bottle of uh, odor eliminator, it says it eliminates pet, skunk, mildew, and smoke odors. 100% natural and biodegradable. So there's not going to be any weird chemicals in here that are going to affect your feet or dry them out or anything like that either. The direction says prep, may darken leather, test for color fastness before use. I'm fine with the leather being darkened on those, it was dark in the first place. Um, it's got instructions for wash in, dip, and spray. We'll be using the dip one. It says mix one and a half ounces, which is four capfuls, of Mirazyme with up to 10 gallons of water in sink, bathtub, or large container. Submerge the item, saturating inside and out. Do not rinse or machine dry, air dry. So that's going to be enough water in there now that's ready to go. That's a five gallon bucket. So we are going to throw in two capfuls. One. Two. There's our two cap pulls. Mix that around in there. Sandal number one, dip it in. And I just kind of twist it around. And I do the second one and do the same with it. So once you've done the dip on the sandals, or whatever you're using, you could be dipping a jacket or whatever, you're going to take them and you're going to put them out in the sun to dry. Uh, you can see there's some water on them. I'm just going to shake that off and I'm going to set them in direct sunlight and let them dry. So here's the sandals, they're outside, I've got them in direct sunlight to dry. Um, what you will want to do is just get those little pools of water in there. Take them and give them a good shake out. Get that excess water off of them. And then let them bake in the sun for as long as they need to dry. Um, also brought out what's left over of the solution, which is still what's in there. It's just, I brought it out here in the pail. Uh, sometimes I like to re-dip it. Once they get dry, I'll re-dip them and then let them dry again. That seems to keep the odor down on them. So once that's finished, I'll do the uh, final product for you in a short video. But that's how we do this, and thanks a lot for watching. If you like the videos, hit subscribe. As again, thank you for watching.